For today's video, we are going to discuss about asthma. I'm going to serve you the manifestation, the medical management of your asthma. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dina Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I upload my nursing videos two to three times in a week. Don't miss that out. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Hi everybody. For today, we are going to discuss about asthma. I know that this is the common um, emergency case that we normally encounter in the ER so we might as well review the concept of your asthma. In order for me to do that I will switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi nurses! Welcome nga sa ating formal discussion ng yung asthma. So this is under your medical surgical nursing. If you haven't watched the other videos I created under medical surgical nursing I'll be putting it on the icon button or just simply check the description box for more nursing videos okay I created tons of discussions related to nursing but this particular topic is all about asthma nursing care management okay let me begin this discussion with our objectives for today of course we're going to have description diagnostic tests clinical manifestations at ang iyong medical management of asthma so simulan na natin to handa ka na let's begin let's describe asthma once and for all. Charot! <laughs> Ito na siya. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease of the airways that causes airway hyperresponsiveness, mucosal edema, and mucus production. Mm -hmm. May mucus production nga po at my hyperresponsiveness at edema ang iyong asthma. Next, inflammation. Inflammation ultimately leads to recurrent episodes of asthma symptoms. Patients with asthma may experience symptom-free periods alternating with acute exacerbation that lasts from minutes to hours or even days. Asthma is the most common chronic disease of childhood which can begin at any age. Now, how are you going to diagnose asthma? Confirmatory test ng yung asthma ay spirometry. So let's define this. Spirometry is the most common of the pulmonary function tests. It measures lung function, specifically the amount and or speed of air that can be inhaled and exhaled. Spirometry is helpful in assessing breathing patterns that identify conditions such as asthma, pulmonary fibrosis, cystic fibrosis, and other COPD cases. All right. So what is the clinical manifestation of your asthma? Paano mo nga ba malalaman kung nagkakaroon na ba ng asthma attack ang iyong pasyente? Madali lang yan. I'll give it to you. Okay? Now, you have shortness of breath. Siyempre, paghapo sa paghinga. Ano pa? Difficulty of breathing. Mm, hirap. Labor breathing. Dry cough. Mm, kasi nga, pwede nang may mucus production. Ano pa? Night cough. May mga asthma patients tayo na nagwa-worsen yung kanilang um, coughing during the night. What else? Wheezing. Yes. Um, wheezing, which can be heard during auscultation. Diba? Malala ma mapapansin mo yon. High pitch sound kasi ang wheezing. Meaning kasi, bakit nagkakaroon ng wheezing? Super constricted ang ating mga uh, lung tubes. Alright. Chest pain or tightness. So, once again, these are the clinical manifestations of your asthma. So, let's discuss the medical management. Paano mo nga ba imamanage ang isang pasyente merong asthma? Okay, let's begin. Well, I want you to remember the mnemonics asthma, first of all. Okay, so let's start with A. A stands for adrenergics, uh, ang yung beta 2 agonist. Ano to? Albuterol. Yes, beta-2 agonists, bronchodilators are a group of drugs. Uh, Short-acting beta agonists on yung sabas provide quick relief of asthma symptoms. Examples nga po nito ay yung short-acting medications which include albuterol, yung iyong um, brand name Acuneb, Proventil HFA, Proair HFA, Ventolin HFA, and Lavalbuterol. Meron ka dyang Sofinex and Sofinex HFA. Ano pa? Asthma ASS. 
SS steroids. Mm -hmm. The steroids used to treat asthma are known as corticosteroids. Corticosteroids are copies of hormones your body produces naturally. Remember, this is naturally produced in our body. Steroids help asthma by calming inflamed airways and stopping inflammation. This helps ease asthma symptoms such as breathlessness and coughing. What else? Asthma. T, 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 Theophylin. Theophylin is used to prevent and treat wheezing, shortness of breath, and chest tightness caused by asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and other lung diseases. It relaxes and opens air passages in the lungs, making it easier to breathe. Ano pa? Ast, asthma. Ast, A, S, T, H, H stands for hydration IV. In patients in severe respiratory distress, begin an IV infusion of dextrose 5% in water yung ayong D5 water. Now, this is to keep vein open, you know? Well, it actually depends on the discretion of the doctor, whatever IV um, he will give to, or he or she will give to the patient as long as it's not contraindicated to the condition of the patient. There's some discussions that they prefer D5 water and, and you know, treating or as the first line of IV medication for a patient who's suffering from asthma. But some, again, that depends on the, the order of the doctor okay now m m asthma ma mask o2 o2 mask nebulizers are usually used to open up airways during asthma attacks but oxygen therapy is used as well as treatment for asthma patients oxygen therapy is used specifically for patients with life-threatening asthma oxygen therapy is also used for many other complications associated with the respiratory system as well ano pa yung asthma a a anticholinergics. Now, what are your anticholinergics? Now, there are five anticholinergics currently licensed for use in COP. Ano ano to? Ipratropium, aclidinium, glycopyronium, known as glycopyronium, pyrrolate, eumeclidium, and teotropium. However, only two anticholinergics have been approved for use in asthma. Ano yon? Ipratropium and teotropium. Again, ipatropium and teotropium. Ano ang functions? Ano ginagawa ng anticholinergics mo? They are bronchodilators, meaning they dilate the bronchioles for to allow more air to go to the lungs, to the alveoli for more gas exchange. This is mainly used to treat COPD or yung ating ano yon, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease such as emphysema and itong ang sa kaso natin ngayon, asthma. Atrovent, an anticholinergic bronchodilator, is used to treat COPD. It is available as inhaler and also in a nebulizer solution. What is the most common side effect of giving your... Um, um, atrovent. Remember, you need to inform your patient that the most common side effect is throat dryness. All right. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one and learned something out from this discussion. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. If you haven't checked out the other videos I created in regards to nursing, I'll be putting it on the description box or simply click the icon button. Please, please help me out spreading the news about my channel. And thank you so much, you guys, for all your love and support. I'll see you again next time. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. If you're ready here, you might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. Put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box. So simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabby. I'll see you again, baby.